guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some super cool Halloween glow-in-the-dark slime. The slime does glow really well in the dark. The only problem is that it wasn't really showing up on camera, so I ended up using a black light to really like pop the glow, I guess. But it does glow without the black light, so I just wanted to mention that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My username is allthingsnam. It's allthingsnam pretty much on every social media. So you guys can follow me if you like. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you'd like to stick around, then you can go ahead and click the subscribe button. And now, let's get started. I'm going to start off by showing you guys how I made the slime. So here I have some laundry detergent white glue and you'll also need glow-in-the-dark paints i got mine from ebay but if you don't have this paint you can also use glow-in-the-dark fabric paint which you can get at michael's very easily in a bowl i'm going to put about one fourth cup of white glue inside if you want you can also use clear glue for this then i'm going to take my glow-in-the-dark paint and i'm going to add a pretty decent amount of this the more paint you add the more it's going to glow so i would definitely say add a lot of glow in the dark paint. It's going to be so much worth it. Then all you wanna do is take half a tablespoon of the laundry detergent and you wanna add that in. Once you start mixing it in, it will clump together. You may need to add less or more of the detergent depending on the consistency that you want. Once I'm done mixing the slime, I usually let it sit for about five minutes and then I just start playing with it. At first, it might stick onto your hands, but as you keep playing with it, it will stop sticking onto your hands and it should be pretty good. Now I'm going to show you guys how I made the Halloween containers. For this, you will need a shot glass and you'll also need polymer clay. Here I have some black polymer clay and I'm going to roll it out. Then I'm going to take the shot glass and I'm going to cut out a circle with it. I have a slightly large cookie cutter and I'm going to cut out a circle with that as well. All I'm going to do is put them on top of each other and let this bake in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm going to pop on the lid and once that's done, you can make pretty much whatever you want on the container. So I made Frankenstein, I made a pumpkin, and I also made a ghost face. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm using to make the face and stuff, I'm using acrylic paint, but you can also use markers for this as well. At this point, I don't have much explaining to do because you can see what I'm doing and I think it's pretty clear. But I wanted to say that if you do not want to use these cups for slime, you can also use these containers as decoration. So you can color the inside of the cup with a solid color and basically store whatever you want inside. Now that I've showed you guys how I made all three of the containers, we are going to fill them up with slime. I charged the slime for a minute under a light and it was glowing pretty well. The only thing is that I had to use a black light to show you guys how it was glowing on camera. But it does glow without the black light you just need to charge it under some light for about a minute and that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far i love you and i'll see you in my next video